What is going on guys? It is Ahmed and I'm back today with an opportunity for everybody here. Monday, December 28th. L-O-K is a ticker symbol. We'll be merging with Danimer Scientific, which is the future of plastics. Again, they are a biodegradable plastics company that is looking to switch, you know, again, our conventional plastics, which are very harmful for the environment to more of a biodegradable. I will go through a video with everyone about how this company makes their plastics and you know something uh, we'll go through their balance sheet things like that you know their pro forma statement but again i think this is going to be a really good deal for us all and so without further ado i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the video about how they make the polymer to make their plastics and before i get going on the video a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated thank you all for all the support you've been giving me so far and i just want to keep it going so without further ado as i mentioned here is the video about their polymers Let's turn it up a little bit. To begin, non-GMO canola seeds are planted. They grow and flower and are harvested for their seed. Canola crops are grown locally within the vicinity of Danimer Scientific. The seed harvest is taken to a cold pressing process plant. The seeds are crushed without using any solvents whatsoever. Byproducts from the cold press processing are utilized for fertilizer and livestock feed. There is absolutely no waste in this part of the cycle. The pure canola oil proceeds to the bioreactor, where it is combined with naturally occurring microorganisms, water, energy to create warmth, and oxygen to support fermentation. PHA is produced in a proprietary, controlled environment that is optimal for maximum fermentation and PHA production. Pure white PHA powder results from separation, solvent-free purification, and drying. This product is approved by the FDA for food contact use, a tribute to its purity. Biopolymer PHA resin pellets are created through a proprietary reactive extrusion process at Danimer. Almost anything currently made out of plastic can be made from these PHA resin pellets. The pelletized resins are boxed for shipment to major brand partners worldwide. These major brand partners innovate and use these resins to create all kinds of containers, bottles, boxes, packaging, utensils, vessels, films, coatings, and inks. All products created with this PHA resin base are certifiably biodegradable by all six world standards. Soil, salt water, fresh water, aerobic and anaerobic industrial compost, and home compost. Danimer Scientific PHA is the only resin meeting these exacting standards. All materials made from Danimer Scientific PHA degrade totally in soil and or water, typically in eight weeks. This process creates a full cycle, with the end result being soil, ready to again receive seeds. Wow, all I can say is wow. So again, as I mentioned, I am a pretty big fan. I'm not a chemical engineer, so I don't really know the process of developing polymers. You know, again, as a pharmacist, sure, we know a little bit about them, but if you want to do more of your own research, just come to their website directly and they can, they discuss everything in more detail. And again, the, some of the things that they mentioned in their video, some of the applications for the PHA, and again, that's that polymer that they created. So things like straws, cups, lids, bottles, um, produce bags, shopping bags, utensils, the list goes on. As you can see, trash bags are day, the things that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. And the big thing that I, again, found out from just reading about the SPAC itself, or not the SPAC, but the um, company, Denimer, I was reading about it, and it was saying that currently they only control 1% of the plastics market they are the biggest producer um, again uh, biggest producer for biodegradable plastics in the world right now they have contracts with over 15 countries but again only one percent of the market is con controlled by biodegradables and they are the pioneer in that industry so what does that tell me if it's one percent the last four years, especially here in the United States, again, I live in the U.S., so I always talk about the United States. I don't mean to bring politics into this, but the last four years, we had a president who kind of put climate change and, you know, issues pertaining to just more renewable energy, that kind of thing aside, because he wasn't really someone who took that as a priority of his. 
Now, with the new president-elect that is going to be in office next month in January, he is someone that is, you know, again, under his statement, under his presidential, all the speeches that he's given. Um, again, part of his campaign was he wants to make a change to the environment. He wants to create things like renewable energy, give opportunities to these companies to expand and start to hopefully take over. That's why there's been such an EV hype lately. Again, but one of the big things that are kind of looked over or people are kind of just, you know, looking past are things like this, you know, plastics. That's, I think this is huge. You know, I've brought up things like fuel cell, hydrogen fuel cells, um, using that as an alternative energy. But if we have 100% biodegradable plastics, think about how much time you encounter plastic every day at home. If it's a plastic cup, if it's your trash bags, you know, the list of things that I've mentioned, um, especially the bottles, water bottles. And again, Danimer, so this company, Danimer Scientific, they have contracts with things like Nestle. And um, again, do your own research. And I want you guys to look into this company because I am a huge fan. Now, because of that and the fact that they are going public Monday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern time. So again, that's like New York time. They have their shareholder meter, shareholder meeting, excuse me, that will be combining the business um, of Danimer Scientific with the SPAC LOK or Live Oak Acquisition Corp. So Live Oak, if you want to look at the price action a little bit in the last month, unfortunately, we can kind of see that I am potentially a little behind. They've been running $10 like all SPACs do and have has peaked at around the 2271 range. So as of right now, it's at a tie. It's at an all time high. Now, with that being said, the last five days, looking at price action, it's up 33 percent. Now, 2215, what does this, you know, how does this kind of play with me like what do I, what am I going to do what do I want you guys to do I'm not a financial adv uh, advisor whatsoever but what I'll be doing is first thing depending on what happens in the pre-market on Monday um, first thing I'm going to do is if the price by you know I'm expecting that it's going to kind of <laughs> skyrocket a little just in anticipation of the merger but if it does not and it stays around this 22 to 23 dollar range I think that this is a buy the only reason I say that is because Currently, they're controlling 1% of the market. 2021 is on the way. If you are someone who's just looking for a long-term hold, you know, when I say long-term, I think one year or more, I think that, you know, Danimer Scientific, the combination of the SPAC with that company is going to be a great play for 2021 and moving forward because I could see them, if they're only controlling 1% of the plastics market and they have all these contracts, Procter & Gamble, Nestle, some things that I just didn't mention because I want you to do your own research, but in the next five years, 10 years, we're just going to see this company fly. And I am very excited for it. Again, when you think about the $22 range, you're like, oh, SPAC start at $10. It's already doubled in price. I could see it doubling again. And then even going four, five, six, seven, eight, ten 10X, the sky's the limit. So again, if you have not opened a position in LOK, I would highly advise you do so. At least, again, I'm not a financial advisor, so I'm just advising from one front to another. But look into it, read up on it, do your research, look into PHA as a you know biodegradable polymer, look at all this renewable energy, look into that sector, because I always talk about diversification. But please, please, please look at this company before Monday, 10 a.m. Eastern, because that is when they're having their shareholder meeting. And again, I can see at 22.15 now, it's only going to go up from here. There might be a slight pullback. And if there is, you know, I'm going to be averaging down as always. But if not, I'm just going to ride the wave because I'm going to start my position first thing Monday morning. All right, everyone. Hope you're all having a good time. Happy holidays to all. And until next time, keep investing.